Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very highly requested video. It's baby names that I love but that we won't be using. If you didn't know, we found out we are having a baby boy in July. And so I have a ton of girl names that we're not using and then some boy names that we're not using. Obviously gotta hold on to a few of those. For name options for our baby and then we have a few girl names that we both really really like that we might use in the future if we have a daughter so not gonna like spoil those either but I have a bunch of names that I am obsessed with that we just can't use or that my husband doesn't like so I can't use them I didn't know if I was gonna film this or not because I had made a few TikToks like baby names I love but not using but they only said like three or four names I think in those videos and everyone was like we want a more in-depth video so here is your more in-depth video of baby names I love but not using I have eight girl names and eight boy names that I'm going to share with you I think I'm going to start out with the girl names so if you're only interested in hearing the boy names just skip a little bit through the video so the very first girl name that I absolutely love is Melrose I really really like this one I feel like it's a very classy and timeless name and there's like some street names Melrose and I guess a few cities. People are commenting on my TikTok saying they grew up in Melrose or something like that but I just think that it's so precious and I think it's really cute if Rose is a family name for you, a way to incorporate Rose into your baby's name but not just like naming her Rose and Rose is a family name for my husband Johnny's family and so I just thought that would be a really, really cute way to incorporate that and he didn't like the name. So unfortunately, we can't use that name, but I think it's absolutely adorable. This next name, every person that I have told this name to doesn't like it, but I think it's just the cutest name in the world for a girl. It's Cleo. I think it's short, simple, to the point. Everyone always says that they're going to think of that like mermaid on the show. I didn't watch the show, but it's like... H2O or something like that. I had never watched that show, so I don't think of that, but I just think it's a really cute, simple girl name, and it's short. I love short names, but I swear everyone that I say this name to, they're immediately like, that's not cute. So I don't know if you guys will think that's cute or not, but I was always obsessed with that name. I had it in my like baby names notes app forever and nobody else really likes it the third girl name is collins and me and my husband were both really obsessed with this name so we always said our first daughter whenever she's born if we have a daughter will be named collins and then my best friend one of my best friends actually named their baby collins they just had her like a few weeks ago but i think it's the cutest name in the world we unfortunately won't be using it anymore but i'm just glad that someone i know used it because i think it's really cute and now i can still you know see a little baby girl collins without having my own so i said that i really like short names the rest of these names are pretty short the rest of my girl names the next one is Gigi. i think this is just really really cute my only like thing that I can't get on board with it is that I know a bunch of grandmas go by Gigi and so I don't really know if that'd be like naming your daughter like Mima or like grandma or something I don't know I just can't get past that like little block in my head saying this is what some people call their grandmas or their great grandmas because like great grandma Gigi I think that Gigi is just a really cute short girl name this one actually my husband johnny really did like and i just like couldn't get there with it but also if it goes really well with your last name and it flows good i think it's a really cute simple girl name the next girl name is birdie this name i love so much like i would love if my name were birdie i think that birdie is just a really cute timeless name i could see a birdie being like a little girl and also like an older lady named birdie because you know everyone nowadays is like would you name an adult that like you're naming adults don't forget that <laughs> but i'm like our kids are going to be growing up with kids who also have these names like there's not going to be a single person in my kids grade at school named karen or something so like let's remember that as well but i think that birdie is the freaking cutest name in the world the only reason i can't use it is because johnny is obsessed with golf like he golfed in college golf is a pretty big thing for him he still goes on golf trips with his friends and as you probably know birdie is a golf term and so he's like i can't 
I can't name one of our kids Birdie, which I really do completely understand. That'd be like a little bit weird, but I just think it's so cute. I'm really hoping that one of my good friends names their daughter this because I want someone to use this name. It's such a cute name and I can't use it, but I love it. The next name is Esty. I follow an influencer who actually named her daughter this and I think that it's so cute. It's so short, simple, it's unique, but not like crazy different but i do feel like this name is gaining more and more popularity if you want a really really unique name i would say don't use this one because i think that it is gaining a lot of popularity but i can totally see why because it's so cute and the meaning behind it i think it means like star or light or something i don't know i didn't like look up the meaning i just saw when the girl i follow had posted that that's what they named their daughter i saw her post the meaning and i was like oh that's really cute the next girl name is delta this name if this goes really cute with your last name this is like the perfect name i feel like if your last name starts with a d like delta something with a d would just be so cute i feel like a lot of people associate delta with the airline but i'm like really how often are you thinking about delta airlines how often is that going through your brain i don't know i just think delta is really cute this is another name where it's like i can see an older person being named this as well as like a little cute girl so yeah i think it works for all ages it's not just like a little girl or like little baby name and the very last girl name on this list is opal this one is definitely like you can't even argue this that it's a name that would be a really cute older lady or like grandma name as well opal is just really cute it's so short it's so simple sweet i don't even know i just really like it and i think that opal would be a really cute middle name as well so that wraps up all the girl names on my list of names that we're not using so now on to the boy names also i'm like running out of breath i can't speak for very long anymore without getting like really short of breath i think that's a pregnancy side effect but it's definitely real i swear i'll just be talking and then i can't talk anymore like i'm i'm so short of breath but we're gonna get through this video the very first boy name is banks i think this is gaining popularity i feel like i've seen it a little bit on tiktok but i don't personally know anyone named banks i really don't know anyone named any of these except now my friend's daughter's name is collins but other than that i don't know anyone by these names i don't think i'd want to name my kid something that i knew someone named that it's different if they're like famous or i don't know something but like someone that you actually know in your life i just couldn't name my kid a name if i could associate that with someone else in my life i feel but these names i don't know anyone named any of these but banks is literally the cutest little boy name i think it's short to the point but i could go with a bunch of different last names and it's just really cute like banks that's so cute the next one is bishop honestly if you're having two boys banks and bishop those would be really cute brothers names if you're a new girl fan it, i didn't get it from winston bishop but it kind of goes hand in hand and if you want something like kind of more unique i really don't think that bishop is gaining popularity at least from what i've seen on social media i haven't seen a lot of people using that baby name or like putting it on baby name list or anything so it's a little bit different of a vibe i don't know it's not for everyone that's for sure but i think it's cute the next name is elias i love this name so much my only problem with it is i don't want him to be called eli i would just want him to be called elias and i feel like his name would just get shortened to eli by like friends or family or anything and there's nothing wrong with that name i just if i'm naming him elias that's what i would want him to go by i think elias is a really cute middle name though too that's another one that's like could be a first or middle name in my opinion the next name is theo i think that theo is so so stinking cute i really really like this one a girl that i know named her son theo <laughs> like i said i don't want to associate my kids with other people that i know even though i probably won't ever meet this little boy and if i do it will be like once in my life but it was just like if someone else named their kid that that i know i was like eh, i can't do that but if you are someone who likes nicknames i feel like theo couldn't really be shortened anymore i personally like short names so that our kids don't have to go by nicknames because me and johnny both go by names that aren't even like our real name and so i want our kids to go by their name like at school and 
stuff like that i mean obviously we can give them nicknames and whatever but i'm just saying when they say like my name is i want them to say their name that we give them that's another reason i like short names because i'm like well if it's already short they're not going to shorten it anymore so that's how i feel the next name is deacon this one is a little long for me and i feel like people whenever i bring this name up they think of like a deacon in a church which is not really what i think of when i think of the name like i know it's called the same thing but i don't immediately think like oh yeah like a deacon in a church but whenever i say this name that's what people always think of and kind of relate it to that one's not like one of my favorites like it wasn't in my like top of the list but i still really like it and i think it's cute for someone else just not for our baby boy okay this next name call me basic i don't care i think it's the cutest name in the world and i know like a million people are naming their son this right now but it's really cute the name is crew i know i know there's gonna be mixed feelings about that one because some people i've seen it online they hate that name so much but i think it's really cute like you know me i'm gonna say it's short which is why i like it unfortunately it is a little bit getting overused for my liking. I don't really like names that are like so crazy unique that you've never even heard of them. But I also don't want to name our kids something that is like everyone else's name, if that makes sense. The next name is honestly probably my like most unique name. It's Takoa. And I feel like I heard this one so long ago when I was in college. And I thought that was so cute because then I thought he could go by Koa, which I think is really, really cute. Even though I said I don't want them to go by nicknames. <sighs> you know, I'm just always contradicting everything that I say. But we're not using this name, so it doesn't matter. But I just think that's so, so cute. I don't know. I feel like if it fits the vibe of you and your family, it doesn't really fit like me and Johnny's. I don't know it doesn't give like beach boy in florida but if it fits your family and like the names that you like i think it's so so cute and the very last name is a name that i feel like i've been obsessed with since i was in high school and then just decided i can't use it but the name is duke and i feel like i can't use it because like it kind of gives dog name vibes like i feel like a lot of people name their dog duke like a golden retriever named duke that's kind of what i picture but I think it's such a cute name. It's a little bit different, but not like crazy unique out there. This is another one that is like, if you have a D last name, I feel like the alliteration would be really, really cute. The more that I say it, the more that I'm like, oh, it just really sounds like a dog name to me. But if you don't think that, then you should use it for your baby boy because it's really cute. If you guys name your babies any of these names or if your baby's name is one of these names or something, let me know in the comments. I always love reading the comments when people are like, oh my gosh, I just named my daughter that or something. I'm like, I love that name so much. But also, if you want to guess what we are naming our baby boy, you can leave a guess down in the comments. I really like to see guesses. I love seeing the TikTok videos where people are like guessing other people's baby names. I think those are so fun. And I'm like, what if they're right? What if they really put all this together and they know what they're talking about thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos lots of baby updates coming and other fun vlogs as always i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye